low I'm artifacts of Mars. And here we have a clear cut case of liberals trying to control what women can wear. Sexy handmaid's tail Halloween costume sparks outrage. Now, this designer called Yandy created this. I don't know who he is, I have no idea. They created this, and it's based on a Hulu series. Handmaid's Tale, something to do with dystopian future where women are kept repressed and so on and so forth. I'm quite certain it's not a science fiction series, it's a propaganda series, but uh, anyway. Online retailer Yandy listed a brave red mating Halloween costume for nearly 65 Referencing guard women horse in the surrogacy wear in Hulu's series Handmaid's Tale. An upsetting dystopian future has emerged where women have no longer have a say. The description reads However, we say be bold and speak your mind in this exclusive red Bravo Red Maiden costume. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. The Halloween costume instantly sparked outrage across social media. One Twitter user shared a screenshot, screenshot sorry about that, and asked why, sarcastically, nothing like a sexy rape victim for Halloween fun. That's nonsense. Yandy Brave Red Maiden costume. There it is uh, in pictures. Let's see if we can blow this up. Oh, okay. Uh, this is one of the liberal nut jobs who uh, got this banned. This has been taken down, by the way. This is one of the liberal nut cases who wants to control what women can wear. Now it's not conservatives doing this. This is these are liberals that are doing this. And then they scream at us about women's rights when they're not supporting women's rights. They're telling women what they can and cannot do. I wish more women understood what's going on here. Another user said this is so far from the point I can't even. Another added, our society doesn't take the rape of real women seriously. Why should they take the rape of fictional women seriously? Kook! Over the last few hours, it has become obvious that our Yandy Brave Red Maiden costume is being seen as a women, symbol of women's oppression rather than an expression of women's empowerment. The clothing retailer said, this is unfortunate, as it was not our intention at any level. The statement continued, given the sincere, for helpful, felt response, supported by numerous personal stories we received, we are removing costume from our site. That's a damn shame. See, this is not a heartfelt response. This is liberalism trying to control what women can wear. And then they point and conservatives like Kavanaugh and see, you're a racist, sexist bigot. No, you're a sexist. You are the bigot. You are against women's rights. And you're a liberal. The iconic red cloak from Margaret Atwood's Handmaid's Tale has become a feminist symbol of protest against women's oppression around the world, recently demonstrators donned the costume outside Brent, Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination hearing. But here we have, I'm going to say this one more time, here we have liberals trying to control what women wear. They, then they turn around and look at us conservatives and say, you're against women's rights. Unbelievable. Two-faced, hypocritical nut jobs. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.